just this is just what the base is going to be okay um, or what it's going to look like it's just a simple card so easy to do all right so we're going to start of course i don't have my my pre-made cards here so oh i do okay so i just have a simple the card is four and a quarter by five and a half okay so that's the size we're going to make so then we're going to go down just a quarter of an inch on this so it was four and a quarter so we're going to go four inch and this is going to be the layering part on the back and then i had said this was five and a half so we're going to do five and a quarter so i might be able to see some maybe i don't know i might be able to see some comments on the side we'll just see all right so it's going to lay right on here so now this was four by five and a quarter so we want three and three quarters by five for this top white card so we're going to just cut five inch by and what did i say three and three quarters i believe i said And if I did it right, it's going to lay on top of here perfectly. Okay, so you can see that on here. Um, and then this will lay right on top of here. Perfect. All right. Easy, easy, easy to do. The stamp set I'm using is Botanical Shadows. It's the stamp of the month for June. It is gorgeous. If you um, want information, just... Um, put stamps in the comments. I can let you know how to get it, but it's only for the month of June. Gorgeous. And honestly, we're only going to use this one here. And I think we'll use this grateful, uh, grateful for you stamp. Okay. So those are the stamps we're going to use. The colors we're only using two. We're going to use Lagoon and intense black. Okay. And we've got a blending brush. I'm going to set this on the side. Now, to do this, if you see, you can see how you've got straight, um, straight sides here. Okay, so the way you do that, just lay your card on. Let's just see if you can't, me if we can measure it up from here. So I'm going to lay the card on, and I'm going to go a half inch in with masking tape. So we're just going to eyeball a half an inch would be right along this line here. We'll lift it up and let's do this side right away. And I find it easier to line it up with the half inch here. And then you've got this 12 inch line is all the way across so you probably have other rulers that you can do it on and honestly you could do it on the paper cutter that i had that works perfect for it um i just thought i would this would be something simple lay it next to a ruler that would be just fine okay so now we're going to do a half inch across also so we're going to um lay it on here and i'm going to go right on this nine inch line I'm just using a, I don't know if this is a, a masking tape or what it is, but my fingers are in the way there. Line it up. And we're just making that inside edge. Now you don't want the tape too sticky. This tape actually gets a little bit sticky um, that it peels up a little of the paper sometimes. So I'm going to try and be careful with that. All right, so I'm going to go over a half an inch again. And I should get my fingers out of your way. So I'm lining it up on that 12 and a half inch line. And then I'm looking at this 12 inch line here. I'm just laying that on. And we've got our masking here. 
Okay, so we take the blending brush and we're going to use the Lagoon. And for the blending brush, uh, I should get a piece of paper underneath here. Let's just get a piece of paper. It's easy to start, it's easier to start off and work in so start off of your project and gradually work in that way if you put it right on here you're going to get like a, a dark blotch that'll be hard to get that to cover up um, I mean you could work it some because that's going to be a darker point but it's it's a lot easier to start off and just work in now I'm not going to do all the way in but I am going to do make sure that I have prominent darker color so I just keep going over that and all the way down into this corner and just go up a little bit I'm not going to go all the way up we just want it a little bit and it gets lighter as we go that's all there is to it and let's see what we got and this washes out with just soap and water like dish soap Look at how pretty that is. Okay, so now we're going to take our acrylic block. And I said this is the Botanical sh Shadows. It's the stamp of the month for this month only. Um, it's just put stamps in the comments. If you want more information, I'll get it to you within the next couple of days. And you can see how I'm going to place it is right there. That's why these acrylic blocks work awesome. I'm going to use the intense. Now I usually like having a more solid surface under here, but I didn't grab my cutting board. I usually have a cutting board to do it on. But just get a nice layer. Be careful. Now you can see here I got some on underneath here. We're going to wipe that off because you don't want that on there and might get it on your card if you do that so just you can see through you got a good coverage on there and I want to line it up right down to this teal look now again normally I have a harder surface underneath here I'm hoping I'll get a good stamp on this and I do it for a couple seconds to press around on it and that was, that's really, isn't that pretty? I just wipe it off. Um, it, we have stamp chamois that you can wet and wipe off. I use a baby wipe. Uh, these are just water wipes that I use. It's um, no oils or anything. And they stay wet a long time through while your whole project. Okay, the other stamp I'm using is this Grateful For You. Now you guys will have to tell me how you like me doing it like in this view. The problem with this view is I can't be commenting to you, but you know, sometimes people, people would rather have this too. So, okay. So we've got the good ink on that stamp there again. I hope I, and we're just going to lay, you can see exactly where you're putting it with these acrylic blocks. Again, if I this table isn't the most even, I'm hoping I got a good stamp out of it. Yeah, and it is. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, and the last thing we're going to do before we put it together is we're going to add the trim right around the outside of it. And it's so easy to do. If you're not good at drawing straight lines and you don't have a ruler that you want to get out, just get a black marker. So this one um, has a thin point and a chisel point. I'm just going to use the thin point. And all I'm going to do, oh, we'll keep it upside down. All I'm going to do is just do little squiggles. All right no rhyme or reason just squiggle it on and I take my time doing it <laughs> for really no purpose because it's a squiggly line do this all the way around 
So make sure you're commenting, um, commenting in the comments if you like me doing some projects like this. And it's just straight through. This one I will end up uploading on my YouTube page. And we've got that now. Now we're going to put it together. It'll be simple, easy. You can leave it blank inside if you want. You can add other comments inside. So this is the did just put whatever tape you have or glue on it layer it in here again it's a quarter inch difference for um, to make that trim around the outside and then a quarter inch to here too Now I will show you one other card I made with this stamp set. I won't do it on here, but I'll just grab that. So isn't that cute? And it's just so pretty. Put any kind of sentiment inside or write your own kind of comments. Let me just show you one other card that I made with this stamp set and I'll just tell you it's sort of on the same principle. Um, it, it's so pretty, but it, it's using the same stamp set. And I just used the blending brush and used a blue, a little bit of green and yellow. And then I stamped the trees on the top near that blue line. I mean, it created a line itself, but it, I really didn't do anything special. The blue even comes up into here a little bit. And then I took this stamp and I just stamped off a little bit on the bottom. And that's all there was to it too. So this is a gorgeous stamp set, um, easy to use. Uh, just just so pretty though, but so um, Again, if you're interested uh, Just put stamps if you're interested in information about the stamp set and Then also let me know how you like this video being like this um, I'd be interested in knowing so okay. I'm going to hop off you guys all have a wonderful weekend and hopefully we'll see